Good for son of Odin. Really? You don't look like him. Which actor was almost completely nude on set since their costume was created by CGI? Today, we're taking a look at some of the most shocking and impressive costumes that were created with CGI magic. Which Marvel suits had to be added with digital effects? Why did every frame of Black Panther in Captain America Civil War have to be edited in post? I'm Hela. Kate Blanchett as Hela is amazingly fierce, but the actress didn't really feel that way while she was filming. The costume is a major contributor, but Blanchett was performing without any of it since the majority of the inspired outfit was actually added in post production. To make it even worse, Blanchett was wearing the awkward mocap suit while filming in Australia. To say things got a bit too warm is an understatement. Luckily, she did benefit from having a much easier time getting herself to the washroom than her co stars. I am not my father. One of the most impressive full CGI suits we've seen on screen is definitely Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther. Boseman was performing on set in almost the exact same costume, but while the team was editing, they replaced the suit digitally in nearly every frame. It might seem a bit pointless considering Bozeman looked so similar in reality, but there was one small yet brilliant detail that just couldn't be caught by the camera. And that is the shimmer and texture we see on the vibranium mesh parts of the costume. Six stones, three teams, one shot. All the time suits we see in Avengers End War were courtesy of CGI and a tight schedule. The costume designers had their work cut out for them, and with such a tight shooting schedule, they started needing to make major decisions and quickly. The suits, which are a combo of Ant-Man, Tony Stark, and the Guardians technology, wound up needing to be rendered digitally since they didn't have the time to actually make and fit the costumes properly. By the end of the process, they did have physical models of the costume, but what we see in the movie is all CGI. The sun is setting and the magic rises. While on screen, Delevingne looks fantastical in her Enchantress costume in Suicide Squad. But there was a lot less magic to look at behind the scenes. Delevingne was actually in nude underwear while filming, with full body makeup, but the actual clothing, helmet included, was all computer generated in post production. It was an interesting choice to have so much skin showing under the CGI clothing that really adds to the mysticism of it all. I'm not really who you think I am. Brie Larson's suit in Captain Marvel was actually designed for Avengers Endgame. Since she shot her scenes for Endgame before she did the Captain Marvel movie, the designers decided they wanted to use the suit from Endgame as the original Captain Marvel suit. They wound up having to digitally add the new suit over top the original getup for that movie. This is definitely part of the risk when filming things out of sequence. We were pretty surprised to learn that Tom Holland was sporting a digitally rendered suit as Spider-Man in Captain America Civil War. Holland was meant to wear the actual superhero suit, but since he only appeared in the special threads in the airport showdown, the majority of the frames were going to be computer generated anyhow. One of the most impressive parts was definitely the eyes and the way they managed to give the goggle-like look of the original comics. As for when Holland is bearing the iron Spider-Man armor, that's entirely CGI. Behind the scenes, he was wearing a motion capture suit to film in. All those breakthroughs military funding, honey. Iron Man started wearing semi-CGI suits back in 2008. Robert Downey Jr. did have some practical gear on to support him in his performance, but ultimately in post-production, digital editing took over for some scenes and the suit was actually superimposed over the actor's body. The editors had modeled the suit we often see on screen after the actual suit Downey Jr. was wearing, which helped keep the look in sync throughout the movie. The looks have changed over the years, but his very first suit was definitely impressive when it came out. Have you concluded admiring yourself? Uh, yeah. Ryan Reynolds' glowing, skin-tight suit isn't real at all. This getup was completely computer-generated, and to be honest, it kind of shows. While the idea behind the costume was neat, unfortunately, it didn't totally work out the way the team had hoped. This was mainly because of tight deadlines and the rush of getting the film to the screen. 
The idea behind it was that the power would come from within the character and beam out, but ultimately, it didn't totally translate. I have eyes on Loki, 14th floor. I'm not Loki. When it came to the cat versus cat battle, audiences were very confused as to which cap was which at first, since both characters and actors looked extremely similar otherwise. So in post-production, the team decided the solution was to add a helmet, which of course had to be added digitally with CGI. Come. While the final product in the film was CGI magic, each of the Navi costumes was actually physically made. The outfits themselves were pretty simple, but a particular focus was put on the textures and fabrics being used, since the animators needed to have examples as references for when they took over and digitally rendered the looks for the actors. Saldana was instead on set wearing a highly complex CGI suit with all sorts of tracking and recording tools to help bring all her motions to the screen. I cannot be summoned like some mongrel. This entirely digitally created costume was so good, it was worthy of an Oscar. Behind the scenes, Jones was actually wearing a motion capture suit. His entire costume was digitally rendered and applied for the final cut of the movie. The outside world has no place for a creature like me. Instead of a giant beast suit, the beast actor Dan Stevens was actually wearing an enormously padded motion capture suit and had to wear platform shoes to get him to the height he needed to be. Behind the scenes, it looked pretty awkward, but Stevens manages to let his performance shine through. Emma Watson has her work cut out for her as well, acting as if she were face to face with this creature as opposed to a large gray blob that Stevens really was. The costumes the Beast wears are pretty magical and highly detailed. And not a day goes by where it doesn't haunt me. Michael Shannon was not a fan of the motion capture suit he had to wear behind the scenes of Man of Steel. He even said it made him feel like a court jester. He'd originally asked Snyder to promise he wouldn't have to wear it, but ultimately they had to for the sake of bringing the best CGI to life. It was necessary to make it appear like the armor he wears was fitted to his body and, of course, following the natural motions. Four or five moments, that's all it takes! Colossus was a major collaborative effort for the team behind Deadpool. It took five performers alone to bring the giant metallic-covered character to the screen. A motion capture session was done with one performer, a different 6 foot 9 actor wearing platform heels shot a bunch of scenes on set in a motion capture tracking suit. The face was modeled after a different performer, while another provided the voice of Colossus, and then the actual face movements were performed by yet another person. Rebel Wilson, along with the rest of the incredible cast from the movie Cats, including Dame Judi Dench and Jason Derulo, had completely digitally created costumes. Well, really, fur. The actors still wore skin-tight green motion capture suits, but their fur and other cat details were added by the CGI team. No part of the actor is actually seen since their bodies were digitally edited anyhow. We were really surprised to see just how many costumes turned out to be fully CGI. Especially the suits like Black Panther that just had small and subtle bits added. The detail in all of them is beyond impressive especially those with a lot of fur. Which CGI costume surprised you the most? 